Here we're looking at a portable Bluetooth speaker by a company called Purebox and what makes this a little different is that it has a retro design. So let's unbox it. Comes with a pretty stylishly packaged box. Now the kind of flap opening. And there we have it. This is the unit. So you know what I mean. This um, looks very retro. Um, blue with this full, I assume, full leather strapped. Uh, one good thing about this particular product is it comes with all the cables you need. Menus, but it comes with both a USB, which I not necessarily need, but it comes with a um, 3.5 audio jack, which is really useful because this speaker not only it's a Bluetooth speaker, it also takes micro SD card and it also takes um, an analog in. So you can plug this into something else that has analog out and you could just use it as a speaker. To get a feel of the size, this is an iPhone 8. So that will be a size comparison. So this is not small, not big, uh, but definitely very retro looking. So as I said, this speaker has three different input modes and I'm just going to show you two of them. So in the back, it's an on-off switch, which is kind of neat, although I, in a way I wish that the on-off switch is built into the volume dial. But the fact that it has a rotary volume dial is also very nice, I think. So a um, SD card input, which I've already put an SD card, a micro SD card in there. Let me actually pop it up. Micro SD card. I load it up with a ton of songs. Um, I'm going to switch it on. And then if I press, actually it already start playing. Play. Pause. So one thing you notice is that I must have loaded about 5 gig of music mp3 onto the SD card, but then I realized there really is no navigation. This previous track, track, next track. There really is no navigation, really it's just track by track, up and down. Um, so you probably should organize your music very well before you use the SD card option. But it is kind of nice so that if you're out camping or outside and just load up your favorite 100 tunes and you have that, you, know, you don't need any wireless connection or anything else. So I just want to show you the mode switch mode. So right now it's playing from TF card. If I So the tone change is telling me that it switched modes and now it should be connected Bluetooth to my um, phone here. So let's try this. Here you go. So right now it's a uh, Bluetooth thing to my phone. One thing is that this volume control controls the amplifier in here. So turning this does not change the Bluetooth volume control on my phone, right? So basically I have due volume here. So what I tend to do is put my phone on maybe three quarters up and then use this to adjust the rest of it. And that's obviously play and pause. Um, it has a built-in microphone, so we could use this to take a phone call. I haven't tried it. My guys that that's not really a normal usage um, pattern here. So some of the specification, the Bluetooth, it is uh, version 4.1 and it is multi-point in, in the sense that it remembers more than one connection. So I managed to switch off my Bluetooth on my phone so that this thing goes into seeking mode but the light will be flashing and then I pair it to my laptop and then to have it go between the two devices, I have to switch off the Bluetooth on my laptop, switch on the Bluetooth on my phone, and then reconnect it from my phone. So it's not fully automatic, but it does remember the connection. So you don't have to repair the connections. And finally, uh, sound quality. The menu says the speakers are rated at five watts, um, which sounds about right. I would say the sound quality is pretty okay for what it is. There is a little bit of 
this is some bass, I wouldn't say it's bass heavy, it's not designed to be bass boosted like some of the, um, some of the like for some of the anchor speakers, um, which is actually good because then it's not as easily distorted as one of these system that they really boost the bass and make it sounds good, but then it gets bad very, very quickly. So I, th I think one of the unique thing about this is the styling really is very nice. Um, mm -hmm. I like the physical buttons, the knobs, the fact that it has three input modes and it came with all the cables you needed, it's a big plus as well. So if you like this style, uh, which I do, I recommend this.